My name is Dr. Andrea Tringali, and I am the Department Head of World Languages. It is my privilege and honor this evening to celebrate 97 students who have chosen to pursue the study of the Italian, Latin, and or Spanish languages. These students are bridging global boundaries by immersing themselves in another language and culture. The students have set themselves apart by maintaining an A average for the last three years in their pursuit of fluency in the target language while maintaining at least a B average in all other subjects. To denote this accomplishment, all senior students will wear honor cords during graduation representing each particular honor society. These three prestigious societies would not be possible without the help and support of the following people. Everett Public Schools Administration, Superintendent Priya Tahiliani, Deputy Assistant Superintendent Kim Sai, Assistant Superintendent of Business Affairs, Charles Obrimsky, Assistant Superintendent Kevin Shaw, and Director of Curriculum, Michelle Kroll. Everett High School Administration, Principal, Eric Nauman, Vice Principal Christopher Barrett, Executive Vice Principal for Business Engagement and Innovation, Dr. Omar Easy, Assistant Principals Stephen Black, Heather Bob, Lucy Di Natale, William Donadoni, Janet O'Reilly, and Director of Guidance Kathleen McCormick. The Everett School Committee. Everett School Committee members Alan Panarisi, Joseph LaMonica, Frank Parker, Dana Murray, Marconi Almeida Barros, Thomas Abruzze, Millie Cardello, Samantha Lambert, and Cynthia Sarney. And the Mayor of Everett, Mayor Carlo Di Maria, for his continued support. A huge thank you to all the teachers in the World Language Department. The teachers in the World Language Department have taught and inspired the students throughout their tenure of language courses at Everett High School. And finally, thank you to the students for their hard work and commitment to their studies and the parents for encouragement and support. The ceremony this evening will have four parts. The first part will be for the students in the Societa Honoraria Italica. The second part will be for the students in the National Latin Honor Society, advised by Mrs. Julianne Mack. The third will be for the students in the Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica, co-advised by Mrs. Mary Giordano and Mrs. Catherine Tocci. And finally, we will honor the students who have earned the state seal of biliteracy. In our inaugural year, we are honoring 17 students with the state seal of biliteracy and eight students who have earned the state seal of biliteracy with distinction. Congratulations to all students. Hello class of 2020. Just want to take a moment to congratulate all the uh, recipients of the uh, world languages. Um, or a scholarship night, um, awards night, 
um, just a, 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 a message of uh, congratulations to you for all your hard work uh, that you have put in um, for so many years. And um, uh, we're, uh, we're all, all so proud of you. Uh, I know as the mayor of the city of Everett, I am proud of you. Uh, I myself uh, speak a, a second language, uh, Italian, and I'm so proud that I do speak that language. And I'm so proud of that all of you uh, are taking this great opportunity to, uh, to learn another language, uh, to speak another language, and are being recognized this evening uh, uh, that, uh, of your accomplishments. So God bless, good luck, and we'll see you soon. Hello everyone, I'm State Senator Sal Domenico, and I want to congratulate all the inductees into the World Languages Honor Society. This is a tremendous accomplishment. You're very, very proud of yourself. Thank you for all of your hard work and your dedication to your school and to your community. I want to thank all of your parents, your teachers, members of your family for always being by your side to bring you to this great accomplishment. Congratulations again to all of the honorees and inductees, and please stay safe, everyone. Hello, seniors. This is Priya Tiliani, Superintendent of Schools, with a heartfelt congratulations for being honored in the Italian, Spanish, and Latin Honor Societies. This is such an incredible accomplishment, and we are all so very proud of you. I myself grew up in a multilingual household, and I can attest to the value of being able to speak multiple languages. Being multilingual, you have an advantage as you leave school and enter into a 21st century world and a global society. Because when you have more than one language, you also have more than one perspective. You have a window not only into another way of communicating, but also into another culture, into another way of living and another way of thinking. And while you may never lose your more worldly perspective, you can lose your language. So all I ask is that you never stop practicing. Continue to read, write, and speak in another language. Keep your language close because it is incredibly valuable, not to be forgotten and not to be taken for granted, but definitely to be celebrated as we are doing today. So congratulations to all of you. The Societa Honoraria Italica, the National Italian Honor Society for High School Students, is sponsored by the American Association of Teachers of Italian. The purpose of this program is to give recognition to achievements in Italian, as well as to promote a greater understanding and appreciation of Italian culture and civilization. In order to be considered for membership in the Italian Honor Society, students must achieve and maintain an A average in Italian, a B average as their GPA, continue studying the Italian language, give back to the community, and promote the Italian culture. Our club would also like to thank Mr. Vincent Panzini and Mr. Arthur Berardino for their unwavering contribution and support of the Italian Honor Society. Signore e signori componenti della Societa Onoraria Italica, siamo qui riuniti per accogliere fra noi con gioia gli studenti che hanno dimostrato un vivo interesse e attaccamento alla bella lingua italiana. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with joy to acknowledge the students who have demonstrated a true interest and knowledge of the beautiful Italian language. Questa Società Onoraria Italica è stata fondata alla Associazione Americana degli insegnanti d'italiano per gli studenti che frequentano le scuole secondarie negli Stati Uniti. E questa sezione è nata grazie agli sforzi delle nostre insegnanti italiane e del liceo di Everett che l'hanno fondata nell'anno 2016. Il nome scelto per la sezione è Lucrezia Tornaboni e il motto è Sempre Avanti. The Società Onoraria Italica, the National Italian Honor Society for High School Students, is sponsored by the American Association of Teachers of Italian for students who attend high school in the United States. This chapter of the National Italian Honor Society was born in 2016 thanks to our Italian teachers and Ever High School. The name of our chapter is Lucrezia Tornaboni, and our motto is Always Moving Forward. Our name, Lucrezia Tornaboni, was chosen by the inaugural class of the Italian Honor Society of Everett High School. Lucrezia Tornaboni was the wife of Pedro de Medici, son of a prominent Florentine banker. 
The Medici family was a very prestigious and affluent family that invented the modern-day baking system still used to this day. Lucrezia Tornavoni, in her own right, a bright poet and an inspiration to her son, Lorenzo de' Medici. Unfortunately, her works were very unacknowledged in her time because women in her time were prohibited from writing poetry. Lucrezia Tornavoni was a strong, independent individual and intellectual ahead of her time. Ho l'onore di presentare i seguenti candidati che aspirano a diventare componenti della società onoraria italica. Questo è il giuramento della società. Come membro della società onoraria italica. Capitolo Lucrezia Tornaboni. Prometto di dedicarmi. Allo studio della lingua italiana, ricordando che è una lingua. Può essere un giorno, un laccio forte. Fra persone di varie origini. Di razza e religione, da cittadino della mia patria. Mi impegno a promuovere l'amicizia e l'accordo fra essa e le altre nazioni del mondo. Questo è il mio giuramento. Studenti. Per l'autorità a me conferita dalla carica della Società Onoraria Italica, vi dichiarò soci di questa associazione Lucrezia Tonabuoni. Auguri! By the authority granted me as the advisor of the Lucrezia Tonabuoni chapter of the National Italian Honor Society, I declare you members of this chapter. Congratulations! Salvete omnes. My name is Ahmed Alamaze and I'm the president of the Latin Honor Society. Thank you for joining us tonight to honor our high school Latin students who have been nominated for induction into the National Latin Honor Society. The Latin Honor Society was founded almost three decades ago as part of the National Junior Classical League, which includes 50,000 members in approximately 1,200 chapters, located in almost every single state and in several foreign countries. Now I would like to present Sandra Lee, who will present the requirements of the National Latin Honor Society. Membership in the National Latin Honor Society is selective. Students must maintain an A average throughout the year. They must be members in good standing of their local JCL chapter and the National JCL. They must be examples of good citizenship and character in the Latin classroom and beyond. In addition, membership does not automatically happen year after year. Because a student is inducted this year, it is incumbent that he or she continue to maintain the standards for inclusion. I encourage those of you still in the early stages of your Latin career to aspire to similar heights each and every year. I would like to introduce to you Roseta Silvans, who will lead the reading of the JCL Creed. Inductees of the Latin Honor Society, please join me in reciting the JCL Creed. We, the members of the Junior Classical League, covenant to hand on the torch of classical civilization in the modern world. We believe an acquaintance with the civilization of Greece and Rome will help us understand and appraise this world of today, which is indebted to the ancient civilization and its government and laws, literature, language, and arts. We affirm the JCL experience develops responsibility, fosters brotherhood, promotes enthusiasm, encourages competition, inspires dedication, and enriches our total growth. Let your membership in this NJCL Latin Honor Society represent your continued interest in understanding your own culture while learning to appreciate that of the past. Your membership will make certain demands of you. Thus, in the presence of these witnesses, please recite our pledge. Nuc tulite dextrus manus et redihe istum morbis mihi. Polycaer wobis, meis amicis parentibus magistris quae. Esse lux aliis et numquam abluisci. Officio meo ludo. Mia amicus, mia familiae, et omnibus. On behalf of Everett High School's chapter of the National Latin Honor Society, it is my distinct pleasure to welcome our new members and to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of all of our Latin scholars. Please join me in congratulating all of the inductees into the National Latin Honor Society. With that, I would like to conclude our induction ceremony. 
Congratulations to all of our new members, and we wish for their continued success in the study of language and culture of the ancient world. Vos omnes amo et valete. Capiamos panem. The Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica, sponsored by the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese, was formally organized in 1953. The purpose of this society is to recognize high academic achievement in the study of Spanish and to promote an interest in Hispanic studies. There are over 2,000 chapters across the United States and abroad. As an international society, its motto is Todos a la una, all together, and its colors are red and gold. Also, the insignia and seal are those of the Mother Association. Presently, the World Languages Department at every high school is proud to continue this tradition with our own chapter of the Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica. The name of our school chapter is Se Hace Camino al Andar, which is, you make the path you walk on which was from a poem by the famous Spanish poet Antonio Machado. Tonight, we congratulate 25 senior students who will be inducted into this prestigious society. Muy buenas noches, bienvenidos a todos. Me llamo Stephanie Suavita y como presidente me gustaría darles la bienvenida a la ceremonia de inducción de la Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica en la Escuela Secundaria de Everett. Es una oportunidad maravillosa de la escuela y de la comunidad para reconocer y celebrar los logros de los estudiantes en el estudio del español. Les agradecemos por su presencia hoy y así poder compartir este momento con nosotros. Esta ceremonia será bilingüe en español y en inglés. Good evening, everyone. My name is Amanda Salí, and as treasurer, I would like to welcome all of you to the induction ceremony of the Sociedad Honoraria Hispánica, also known as the Hispanic Honor Society, at Everett High School. It is a wonderful opportunity to recognize and celebrate the achievements that our students have made in the study of the Spanish language and Hispanic studies. We thank you for your presence today and for sharing this important moment with us. And as stated, this ceremony will be bilingual between Spanish and English. Buenas noches a todos. Soy Martina Vo. As mentioned earlier, the name of the Ever High School chapter of the Sociedad Honoria Hispanica is Se Hacer Camino al Ando, You Make the Path You Walk On, which is from the literary work Cantares, a Spanish poet, Antonio Machado. Antonio Machado is perhaps the most well-known Spanish poet from the early 1900s and a member of the famous Spanish literary circle of the generation of 98. His poetry was influenced by the French Monarista movement and used themes such as nature and love for his country in his poems. Caminante son tus huellas, el camino y nada más. Caminante, no hay camino, se hace camino al andar. Al andar se hace el camino y al volver la vista atrás. Se ve la senda que nunca se ha de volver a pisar. Caminante, no hay camino, sino estelas en la mar. Traveler, your footprints are the path and nothing more. Traveler, there is no path. You make the path you walk on. By walking, one makes the path, and upon glancing behind, one sees the path. That will never be walked again. Traveler, there is no path, only wakes upon the sea. As you can see, the words of the poem are very beautiful and powerful. The poem simply reiterates that we make our own paths as we go through life. There is not a path laid out for us, but we ourselves must take the first step and make our own path. It can be seen as like walking on the sand. There is not any footsteps ahead of you, only the ones you have made that lay behind you. And yet, those footprints will slowly be washed away as to be a unique path for each traveler, a path for each one of us. At this time, we will begin the traditional oath ceremony of the Sociedad Honoria Hispanica. Hello, my name is Carolina Marrer and I am the vice president of this chapter. Now each of you will repeat the oath of the society, phrase by phrase in Spanish. The following is the English translation. 
As a member of the Se Hace Camino al Andar chapter, I promise to devote myself to the study of the Spanish language in order to master it someday. Remembering that a language can be a strong tie between persons of different origins, of race, or religion. As a citizen of my country, I promise to promote friendship and understanding between it and the other lands of the world. This is my promise and my oath. Como miembro del capítulo Se hace camino al andar. Prometo dedicarme al estudio de la lengua española con el fin de dominarla algún día. Recordando que una lengua puede ser un lazo fuerte entre personas de distintos orígenes. De raza o religión como ciudadano de mi patria Prometo promover amistad, entendimiento entre ella y los otros países del mundo. Esta es mi promesa y mi juramento. By the authority granted me by the presidency of the Se Hace Camino al Andar chapter, I declare you members of this chapter. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Mrs. Tachi, and I'm co-advisor of the Hispanic Honor Society at Everett High School. And at this time, we'd like to take a moment and recognize the senior members of our society. My name is Mrs. Giordano. I'm co-advisor of the Hispanic Honor Society at Everett High School. On behalf of the National Association, our senior members will be given honor cords and will wear them at graduation in recognition of their achievement. Para concluir, les damos nuestras felicitaciones a los nuevos miembros del capítulo y les deseamos éxito en su estudio de la lengua española. Como dice nuestra madre sociedad, todas a la una, la administración, los profesores y los padres, todos juntos, podemos hacer una diferencia en la vida de nuestros estudiantes. Por eso, les felicitamos a todos. En conclusion, we extend our congratulations to our new members of our chapter and wish for them continued success in their study of Spanish. Like our mother society says, all together, the administration, the teachers, and the parents, all together, we can make a difference in the lives of our students. For this, we congratulate you all. Buenas noches y gracias.